good morning welcome to our lead living vlog or second vlog i'm not sure <laughs> i just pulled my hair up like this so that i want to just take a shower good morning once again thank you for watching our you know past videos and um i just woke up we actually just woke up and um yeah it was a bit warmer the the heat circulated and we were able to sleep well so oh guys if i tell you i can do anything for nigeria heat right now you won't believe and to say when i was leaving nigeria i was just like oh my god i'm not going to miss this heat <laughs> i miss nigeria heat so much my guys you can't eat your cake and have it at the same time so yeah so um i just want to just we want to just shower, eat, and um, step out to go get our BRP card at the post office. And also from there, I think, yeah, my husband's school resumed yesterday. So we'll also be going to his school so he can go do some registration. And um, I don't know what we are going to be doing after that, but I'll just take you guys along, okay? <laughs> Alright, guys. That is all the talking. I don't have time to be talking so much, but yeah, I'll see you guys as we go. Street lights, car rides, the spots that no one knows. Hey guys, good day. <laughs> yeah, so I just showered and um, I'm just wearing. Guys, remember this sweater I got from Yaba? See, hey, when I was getting all these sweaters from, I was just, I just, I don't know, I was just getting them. But guys, I wish I got more. If you're coming January, I've said it earlier before. If you're coming maybe September, fine. You can come with your. You can just come with some of your your tops. You understand? It won't get so cold then and your body will slowly adjust to um yeah the weather level if you're know coming january please get more of all these sweaters please you will need it although it's not as cold as outside because there's heater but it's still not as it's still not as warm as how you know our houses are in nigeria so you still need to wear all those things so now i i just i just showered and i'm wearing just one of these but before i step out i need to layer up this Okay, I know I'm going to look very funny, but <laughs> trust me, everybody looks funny outside. When I when I came in here yesterday, I was just like, yo, people look funny because they just have to layer up. Trust me, survival is like your number one, not even fashion or anything. So I will layer up this. Oh, please hold on, I have a call. Okay, I just had to pick some calls for my people in Nigeria and um, yeah. So I just want to do my skincare. I want to quickly step out to the post office to go get um our BRP. Yeah, I don't know what we'll do next, but from there, we also need to start looking for houses. So today also I'll need to go online and start checking out places. That's just it though. Guys, eh? I also let me just do a bit of talking here. Yeah? And um I won't lie but I can't imagine coming here myself and going through all this myself. That's just one thing I'm not even really going to lie. It's not easy here. I won't lie you. Yes guys, I was saying I got another call from 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 family people. You know now they're just trying to call and to just make sure I'm fine. Yeah, so I'm getting better I guess. 
getting better i think i'm slowly getting used to the cold because honestly in nigeria i'm not that type of person that we even on ac i'm not the ac girl i prefer to just on the fan so i'm just using my vitamin c serum my dermatologist the last time i went yeah the last time i went to the dermatologist for my like for my final review she added um the dermatologist added a vitamin c serum so this is from their skincare brand and yeah it stays fine on the skin so as i was saying earlier, earlier guys i'm not sure i could have done this alone honestly this is day two of being in the uk and i won't lie you coming in as an immigrant especially when like when i don't have like anybody here if you have someone here maybe a family um the moment you step down from the airport you have someone that can receive you and yeah lucky you but if you know you don't have anywhere you are literally um going from the airport to your airbnb or your hotel guys it's not easy at all number one the cold number one is the cold because when we got to our airbnb we had trouble opening the doors because the doors are kind of different from our doors in in nigeria so even though we kind of they have what they call key safe so our hosts kept the key in the key safe she gave us like the code on airbnb chats and um she gave us the code just to input the code and get the key it was like a bit of struggle and we we're doing all that in the code yesterday so ah uh, I can't imagine doing all that myself for if that I came here myself. Honestly, I am so so glad. I'm so so happy that I came here with a partner. Okay. Also, my husband. I was just like, babe, how would you have felt if you came with yourself? It was just like God knows you would just be angry. Angry. Yeah. So uh, we've just been, you know, drawing strength from each other. I won't lie. Honestly, we've been drawing strength from each other because that's what we need right now honestly so that's just it so i can't imagine coming here alone myself because coming here alone as a student like i don't know how people do it but you guys are strong i won't lie coming here alone in this code you have to be the student you have to you know um surely if you're in an airbnb or, or okay fine there are student accommodations fine you can stop there you can actually get that place but still you need to you know look for a job you need to also you know prepare what you have to be eating you need to you know like it's just a lot for just one person but when you are with a partner at least one person is cool while the other person can you know assist by working and you know doing the cooking doing the errands while the student is you know doing what he or she came here to do so that's just it guys and um i don't know i'm not saying go and just go and get married to somebody or um for the purpose of coming but if you are in a probably serious relationship back home instead of coming here to be doing all those long distance relationship i won't lie you i won't even lie ah it will be hard for that long distance relationship to work i won't lie because the moment you come here it is hustle 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 like in nigeria we can live our lives even though yeah we have a job you have other things you can still live life you understand but yeah it is hustle hustle the moment you come in except maybe you just give your partner time to settle in hmm, that attention won't be like before like when both of you were in nigeria so long distance will be hard if your partner is here alone so if you know you are planning to come here and you're in a serious relationship instead of coming here and doing long distance relationship that huh, will weaken your you know your relationship if you guys are serious so serious just just take it a step further before coming i won't lie i won't like i would i would advise and it doesn't even have to be anything serious like we we just did court wedding and also just paid yeah the old traditional rights we will still do our white wedding but that will be later when we are more settled and all yeah so that's it i really really appreciate coming here with a partner i won't lie that is like it's a flex it is a flex i won't lie it is a flex so i have my sunscreen but honestly one thing i'm really really excited about is my skincare i know my skin is going to glow like surely you know now you guys know how my skin was like there is no space for any oil to break out in this cold 
<laughs> honestly so i'm so excited because the cold actually you know make your skin look better i won't lie so far you're moisturizing properly your skin would look better and um yeah that's just it because even me as i'm looking at myself I'm like wow joe you can be this fine so heat just has a way of just doing making your skin dull i won't lie but yeah i'm excited for my skin yeah i have worn my sunscreen and um i'm going to go get something to eat and another weird thing about it guys because of how cold it is you don't even need to put anything in the fridge honestly like this bread okay we have bread here this bread as it is it's cold it's as cold as how you would leave your bread in the fridge yes it is so it's as, as you can see there are, there are like you know some you know you know all those dew on it it is cold we got apple juice yesterday we didn't even need to put it in the fridge as it is like that it is cold so you need to no wonder they are obsessed with tea and coffee here yeah? so this morning we'll just make um coffee our host showed us how to use the coffee maker last night so we'll just um take that take the coffee and also the bread just little things because the things we bought from nigeria like things for soups and also i i don't know we don't have it i don't have the time to prepare all those things now honestly so we're just eating um things that are a bit light so yeah let me just go make the coffee it's in hot mugs blankets in the cold they're the things reminding me living life is pretty neat and across my mind run the reasons why it's a blessing just to be I'm going to be taking this coffee with this thing we got from Asda yesterday. This hot cross bomb. Oh my god, I am obsessed with it. Sweet meat. Mm. Yes, let's not buy this thing again. If not, I'll be worried to Asda to buy this thing. Hot crust bun. bun. As the hot crust bun. It has cinnamon. The cinnamon is a very that's yeah, it's, that's a very nice flavor. Like, like it's as the specially made bun. Okay. Mm. I feel like most of the stuff so they are like some like the juices is as the yeah. I think as that they make these things yeah, themselves. Yeah, they make it you know, you know, you know, you know, them so. Yeah. edge control um when i got to the airport um lagos airport 
some of our things i actually wanted i don't know if i mentioned here we actually wanted to pay for extra luggage like my, all my my attachments my hair products everything were in one bag I, I was actually play, planning on paying for extra luggage so you know how they do it in local airports that um they have an amount per one kg like per one kg of extra luggage so i thought that was how it was going to be so i went to the airport and i'm like okay how much for extra luggage i just want to take this bag of attachment and hair product hmm. guys they were telling me that the free, normal one is 23 kg even if it's 24 kg you see that extra one kg you want to pay for that extra one kg you'll be paying extra uh, extra hundred dollars on the weight is that how it's done i thought probably you guys have a price for like you know the number of kgs and i will do the mathematics and pay but no they said anything above 23 kg even if it's 24 that extra one kg is hundred dollars I don't know if that is how they do it or that is just you know those airport officials trying to you know just make their own money on top but guys i wasn't able to come in with my um attachments and all my products even my edge control everything went just in one bag i just handed it over to my mom and yeah so i might have to get um edge control later when i step out so later on but anyhow shall I? edges doesn't look that bad yeah, and I also need to wear my hot head warmer. I'm coming. I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. I'll take I'll take like a picture and show you guys my full fit. <laughs> and yeah, I want to step out now. So bye. We don't cast last last. Now everybody go to breakfast. Shayo. guys we're out now just want to want to go to the post office to go get our blp so we're walking to the bus station in this place google map will be, will be your best friend honestly so it's not so far from yet though we're walking there oh my god guys i feel so heavy like ah, i still had my winter jacket on top yo <laughs> well now i i I feel better now like I don't feel so so cold except for my face I feels feels very cold but hmm, I'm managing okay <laughs> that's it walking to the bus station <sighs> bye We just finished from the post office. We've gotten our BRP card. Hi guys, good day. And um I hope you guys are fine. It's um what's today? Let me check. It's the 25th of January. This is day three of being in the UK. I haven't stepped out today um but um my husband's induction is today and he has gone to school so i'm just like you know alone in the house but i've been like on year on my system since just trying to apply for houses online and guys when i say applying for houses here in the uk is really different honestly because you like it feels like you're applying for a job <laughs> it's really not um first come first serve or oh yeah you have the money so you know you can pay for it you need to like 
I don't know, you need to meet their requirements. It's just a whole lot. It feels like you're applying for a job, honestly. So it's a lot. So I've been sending emails to some agents. They've been saying, okay, I'll have to complete this online um, application, this and this and this. And they'll have to take it to the landlord for the landlord to, you know, consider and all. Guys, it's a whole lot. So I've not really started, um, we've not really started um, viewing a place. So hopefully one of this, um, <laughs> One of this, um, I wanted to say agent, but in my head, I just thought of recruiter. And that's because it feels like I'm applying for a job. Yeah, so hopefully one of these agents gets back to me and um, we can start applying. We, <laughs> we can start searching for um, at least viewing an apartment, okay? So we can just leave this Airbnb. Regarding food, guys, we've just been eating like... <laughs> We've not been eating like, you know, eating as we would like. We've just been making noodles, eating bread, making eggs, just eating simple, simple things that are easy to cook up. So today I'm actually thinking of making rice, maybe jollof rice or white rice and stew, either of the two. So I want to step out now to go to, I'm thinking of Asda, but... I don't know i checked online i was thinking of looking for like an outdoor market so i saw one i can't remember where i i can't really remember the name of the place but it's about 25 minutes bus ride from the airbnb apartment so i'm thinking of just stepping out and just you know feeding my eyes and just you know let me just step out of this place because it's really really you know cold and <laughs> it's just really cold i wanted to say cold and depressing but i don't want to bring anything depression close to my head i don't want to think of it so that's just what i want to do today I just want to step out go see if i can do some food shopping i've not started making soups yet because i didn't bring palm oil I wish I did, but it's fine. I didn't bring palm oil. And um, I really don't know where the African store is here. So um, I want to go to the outdoor markets. I think it's called the farmer's market. I can't remember where exactly they said it is. Something Creek Gates. I'm not sure. Yeah, in Leeds. So um, I'm thinking of stepping there now to go see what they have. Oh, that's just it for now. What else? What else? I don't know. Day three of being in the UK. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Apart from the cold, I think I'm kind of enjoying my stay. But the goal now is just to get a place so we can be settled. That's just the number one goal now. About the cold, I think my body is slowly adapting to the cold. Thank God for that. And um, yeah, I think that's all the updates I have to say. Um, I need to step out now to go to that um, farmer's market to just see what I can buy, honestly. To just see what I can buy. And um, yeah, that's all for now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
I just got what I wanted to get here. I just it's actually an open open market and I think they um close quite early. So this is almost five, so most stores were closed, but I was still able to get um what's it called? Just a few vegetables. I want to make rice and stew. So I got tomatoes, I got pepper, I got rice. Guys, look at how dark it is and it's it's just four PM. Like this is just four thirty. And it looks like seven wow so i need to run back before it's dark <laughs> not like it's late but it's just getting so dark and i'm not used to it yet so guys this is what this is where i went to the creek gates and um i need to run back home because it's getting really cold and um yeah just walking to the bus station guys because of how dark it was i just did not even recognize my bus stop like this is just 5 p.m 5 p.m guys and just look at how dark it is like think over here they have like longer nights shorter days because man it's be a very very hard time for me to get used to it but Anyhow, shall let's see how it goes. I stopped at Asda to go get chicken, but um, I'm walking back to the house now. Um, oh, okay, I think I need to check my Google map because everywhere just looks so alike. Everywhere looks so alike. All the buildings just look so alike. That's so, so easy for you to just mistake your way and get confused. But yeah, <laughs> 5 p.m. I want to go make lunch, but it feels like I want to go make dinner. Well, anyhow, <laughs> a new norm for me. Alright, guys. Bye. I need to use my Google Map. <laughs>